Hey, my little truffle how y'all doing? It's your favorite girl, Kyla Black. So y'all, Doja Cat is making headlines again, and I'm just so surprised with all the records she's breaking. Because y'all, I personally think she does not deserve this. And don't misquote me. She is very talented. Doja is incredibly talented. Got an amazing stage performance and dropped a lot of good songs. But it doesn't change the fact that Paint the Town Red does not deserve all this hype. So here is what has been reported. Doja Cat Paint the Town Red remains the number one on global Spotify charts with 7.496 million streams and it's now spent three days at number one. Congrats to Doja, but do you think she deserves this? Let me know in the comment section below. And she has now surpassed and broken Nicki Minaj's record and now has the most monthly listeners for female rappers in Spotify history with 65.7 million. So congrats to Doja. She's doing numbers, but I think this is what you get for worshipping the Illuminati and going public with all your demonic antics. Moving on to Hilarious Lato. So y'all, it turns out Lato was not invited to this year's VMAs and she was not in attendance. Despite winning awards a few months back for Best Female Artist, y'all talk about impact. If she was able to win that, why didn't she get an invite? Y'all, you know why? It's because she's super, super irrelevant and is flopping non-stop. She was able to turn Davido's hit song unavailable to a flop. That's how bad Lato's career is. And her attending this year's VMAs might actually turn the VMAs into a flop. Right? How do you feel about all of this? Let me know in the comment section below. Moving on to the industrial plastic bag, aka Floppy Bee and Benito. So y'all, it has allegedly been confirmed that Cardi B has been begging Benito non-stop for a collaboration after Bungus flopped again. Before y'all be like, Bungus ain't flopping, it's predicted to debut in the top 13th of Billboard Hot 100. Let me tell y'all something, if Bungus was as good as it claimed to be, it would have debuted at number one immediately. Because it's getting a lot of radio play, a lot of boost, a lot of push and piola help. But it can't debut at number one because it ain't good as people think it is. It's all fake hype and fake boost. So Cardi B wants to do this collab with Benito because she knows for a fact that Benito is breaking records on Spotify, on all other charts. This is definitely going to help her career. How do you feel about all of this? Do you think them collaborating is going to produce a hit song or a flop? Let me know in the comment section below. Please like, subscribe, and do not forget to turn on your notification button so that I don't miss out on all the tea I'll be dropping. Thank you. But y'all, I ain't done with Floppy B yet because she did something super hypocritical and I cannot stop but laugh hysterically. So y'all, a lot of people were dragging and making fun of Floppy B the industrial plastic bag for leaving the VMAs immediately after her performance of her song with Megan the Stallion Bungus because she was petrified and scared of Nicki Minaj. And y'all, that was 100% accurate. I'm gonna be dropping facts about that, so stick around. But guess what? Floppy B responded to all of the allegations on Twitter and was like, I ain't even flinched. And I'm like, honey, stop being a hypocritical liar because that's what she is at this point in time. If you weren't scared like you claim, why did you have 10 bodyguards alongside your other cheat husband working with you backstage while preparing for your pathetic public performance of bungos? Yes, y'all. Floppy B's performance was horrendous. And I only think it's because she was super scared to a point where she could not even perform. And that was why Megan Thee Stallion stole the show and saved the performance. Y'all, you know what's even more hilarious? The fact that Off The Cheat was practically hiding behind his own bodyguards that is all over Twitter talking daddy about beating people up for responding to all of Floppy B's crazy allegations. This just proves that Off The Cheat is all talk and the only thing he's good at is at cheating at Floppy B the industrial plastic bag. And before some of y'all be in the comment section and be like, Floppy B left because she had to prepare for her bongos after party. Honey, someone like Tiffany Haddish left the VMAs when it, the performances and the show was completed and then still attended and arrived at the party before Floppy B the industrial plastic bag. She left because she was scared and petrified. There's no other explanation to this. How do you feel about all of this? Let me know in the comment section below moving on to nikki 
Y'all, fans are dragging the VMAs at this point in time for not giving Nikki the amount of awards she deserved. But I'm going to get into all the details about that later. I just want to talk about this for a second. Y'all, the VMAs better get Nikki an award because she's done so much for them this year in particular. Like, Nikki literally boosted the ratings of the VMAs. Like, here's what's being reported. The 2023 VMAs ends the show's biggest ratings in three years. And you know why that happened? Because of Nikki. Like, her performances were incredibly outstanding. Her hosting the VMAs, everything was just so lit. But y'all, I need to call out something. I personally think the VMAs just used Nikki to boost the ratings. Because if anyone took note of what was happening, Nikki didn't literally host the VMAs as she did last year. She was so caught out of all the things happening. Like, honestly, this was not called hosting. It's called using Nikki to boost the ratings. How do you feel about all of this? Let me know in the comment section below. Get into the tea. So fans are super pissed with what happened at this year's VMAs. Nikki was nominated for six different categories and she won just best hip hop. And so many people out there think she deserves better and more awards. So here's what some fans said. Even though I'm happy for Nikki, I'm disappointed that we didn't receive all the awards we were supposed to receive because this point that celebrities won them all. One person was like, I believe Nikki should have won every category. She was even with futures. She brought it this year. And I think so, but not winning all the categories here, right? Like she deserves the song of the summer. Barbie World deserves the song of the summer. How do you feel about all of this? And do you think these people are right? Do you think the fans and population are right for saying this? Let me know in the comment section below because I think they are. Moving on to Champagne Papi, a.k.a. Drake. SZA. So it turns out these two collaborated on a song and it's going to be dropping this Friday. Do you think it's going to be a hit or a flop? 